in the daily administration. Now look that up in the blue letter. The word, you're not going to see the word, the, from the actual Greece, it's not going to be Grecians. The word, is, the word that you're going to see in the blue letter is um, uh, Hellenins. Yeah, the Greek word there in Acts 6 and 1 is Hellenistas. And I'll even play it. Strong's G, 1675, Hellenistas. Hellenistas. Uh, which means one who imitates the manners and customs or the worship of the, of the Greeks and use the Greek tongue, used in the New Testament of... Yep. Uh, one who imitates the manners and customs or the worship of the Greeks who use the Greek tongue, uh, used in the New Testament of Jews born in foreign lands and speaking Greek. Yeah, there was a different, um, the word there is Hellenistas, um, which, which means uh, Israelites that practice the uh, Greek philosophy and uh, spoke the Greek language, but they were actually Israelites. Then you had um, another, another term, Hellen, Hellenin, which were also Israelites, there was one group that knew that they were Israelites and another group that didn't know that they were Israelites. All right? Hence the two different names, Hellenistas and Hellenin. All right? All right, go ahead. Uh, this is uh, in the Zonimus Bible Dictionary under Greece. Uh, Greece, Grecia, Grecians. Grecia is Greece. The home of the Hellenists, Greek and Grecians, however, are to be distinguished. Greeks are generally those of Hellenic race. But the word may be used to indicate non-Jews, foreigners, and aliens. Grecians were Greek-speaking Jews, folk of the dispersion from the areas predominantly Greek. Yeah, and that word should be Hellenistas. Now, go from there to uh, um, Acts. We're going to stay in Acts 6. Go to Acts 16 and start from the top. And I want you to look this up in the, in the, um, in the uh, blue letter. Go ahead. Acts chapter 16, verse 1. Then came he to Derby and Lystra, and behold, a certain disciple was there named Timotheus, the son of a certain woman. Timothy is a, a Greek name, just like Titus is a Greek name, just like Apollos is a Greek name, just like Alexand Alexander the coppersmith was a, uh, a, Greek, a Greek name. All right? Uh, Hymenaeus, I believe, was Greek. When you read the different... Uh, people, the Israelites that Paul had taught and saluted and mentioned their names, they, for the most part, had Greek names. They were Israelites that were raised up uh, under the Greek or Hellen Hellenist uh, philosophy. Go ahead. It says, um, Then came he to Derby and Lystra, and behold, a certain disciple was there named Timotheus, the son of a certain woman which was a Jewess and believed, but his father was a Greek. Now let's look up the word Greek. Because you, you come across that scripture and you think that he was uh, a half Edomite or a tear. Because you don't know how to go deep. Uh, yeah, the word there is. Strong's G, 1672, Helene. Helene. Which means a Greek, either by nationality, whether a native of the mainland or of the Greek islands or colonies. In a wider sense, the name embraces all nations, not Jews, that made the language, customs, and learning of the Greeks their own. The primary reference is to a difference of religion and worship. So basically that means that the term Helen or Hellenin meant you had people that spoke the Greek language, followed the Greek uh, uh, custom, all right? And you had Israelites that did that, that followed that Greek custom, but they didn't acknowledge or claim to be Israelites. You go back to uh, Acts, the sixth chapter, um, the, 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 um, the, the Grecians uh, were Hellenistas, which practiced some of the Greek philosophy, uh, spoke Greek, you know, their customs were somewhat Greek, 
but they knew that they were Israelites. So that's the difference there. All right? And then, then you, had, uh, you had Jews that were in, in uh, Caesar's army, but they had uh, uh, Latin names. You know, so that's why a lot of those soldiers, when you read the names, the names are in Latin, but they were really uh, uh, Israelites that, that, that joined the military at the time, you know? Yeah, and you know what? You got that article up. I guess you, this is the op optune time to read it. All right. This is um, a, wes a website called www.israelite.info. And, uh, you know, if you type in... Uh, the, um, it says, Christian Messianic and Jewish research into Israel's two houses. The Spartan Israelites. Early Hebrew migration to Greece. The witness of the Apocrypha and Flavius Josephus concerning Hebrew colonization of early Greece. Introduction. An important and fascinating correspondence took place between the Jewish high priest and the king of the Spartans, Lacedaemonians of Greece. The date of this correspondence has commonly assigned by uh, Palmer uh, Grimm and others to B.C. 330 to 309. It provides evidence that early that the early inhabitants of Greece were in fact Israelites. And that's all we need. You can read. You can read it on your own. All right. So so the truth is coming out now. Give me the apocrypha. Uh, what is that? First Mac is either First Maccabees 12 or Second Maccabees 12. All right. Go ahead. First Maccabees chapter 12 verse 1. Now when Jonathan saw that the time served served him he chose certain men and sent them to Rome for to confirm and renew the friendship that they had with them he sent letters also to the Lacedaemonians now the friendship that they had with the Romans had to be uh, the sons of Japheth which were dark people but he sent, he sent letters also to the Lacedaemonians and to other places for the same purpose so they went unto Rome and entered into the Senate and said Jonathan the high priest and the people of the Jews sent us unto you. To the end, you should renew the friendship which you had with them and the league in, as in former times. If, if I may say this, Elder Tar, now you got to notice that, you got to remember that everything that Esau does today and that has done in the past, they stole everything. They have no creativity of their own. Like, like uh, you know, we were speaking about earlier about Capitol Line Hill, which was uh, a temple that was built to Jupiter. In America here, they, they have Capitol Hill, which is in Washington, D.C. Well, those things that were set up, they were set up by 6th by, uh, six, uh, uh, six century B.C., 7th century B.C. Uh, people that were in Rome, kings, which were actually Japhite or dark-skinned people. Because the white man, all he does, he just takes history of other people and applies it to himself as if he's the people, but he's not. All right, um, back at first Maccabees 12 and 4. Upon this, the Romans gave them letters unto the governor of every place that they should bring them into the land of Judea peaceably. And this is the copy of the letters which Jonathan wrote to the Lacedaemonians. Jonathan, the high priest and the elders of the nation and the priests and the other people of the Jews unto the, Lac La unto the Lacedaemonians, their brethren, send greeting. It says, uh, there were letters sent in uh, times past unto Onias the high priest for, for Darius, who reigned uh, then among you, to signify that ye are our brethren. It says, to signify that ye are our brethren, as the copy here under, under written doth specify, at which time Onias entreated the ambassador that was sent honorably and received the letters wherein declaration was made of the league and friendship. Therefore we also, albeit we need not, none of, the, of these things, that for that we